What's going on guys? My name is Johnny. Welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to make a hook to hold my backpack. Uh, you can also use it as a coat rack or even somewhere to hang your hat. Um, I want to make this entire thing out of stuff I already have on hand. So I have a few of these strips of walnut that were cut off from a previous project. Um, yep. Let's see if we can do something with bent lamination. I've never tried it before, so let's give it a shot. So I already tried wrapping these strips around a form. That's why they're bent. Um, now, the first thing I tried was a roll of tape, but as, I'm, as you're clamping it down, it's kind of just squishing and deforming, and that's just not gonna work. Another thing I tried was this, this case for drill bits um, would have had it come up around this way and then up like that, but these these corners are just too tight and it would crack the wood, so that's not good either. After that, I was looking around my shop for things that are round, and I spotted the wheel from my planer, and I I would have loved to use that, but the diameter is just too big for this project. This is something I can't throw, so. <laughs> then I remembered I have a four inch dust collector and I have a whole bunch of spare ports for it. So I just want to use one of those because four inches is the diameter that I need. Perfect. All right, so I have everything I need laid out here, ready to go. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is put some wax paper on this because I don't really want this covered in glue. Seems pretty good. When I did the practice glue up, this was a little awkward. Um, yeah, so let's just let's just do it because I don't have much time here. some rags here to protect my pants from glue. That goes there. Clamps ready. Let's do this. That's it. We'll, uh, we'll let that sit for uh, 24 hours. Come back to it tomorrow. Let's do some movie magic. That was easy. So there is a little bit of twist in this. Um, but there isn't really much I could do about that now. It's already glued up. So I'm just going to clean it up and we'll see how it goes. All right, they're looking pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna throw some oil on this, some, some Danish oil, make the color really pop, and then we can put it on the wall.
Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. This is the first time I've done any type of bed lamination work, so I'd love to hear any tips or tricks you might have down in the comments. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe here. I'm doing more videos about once a week now. These are also a couple of videos you might like. And uh, until next time, see ya.